Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by David Weltmeyer, who, of course, is the general manager of Team Stang Racing. Uh, how's it going? Good. Everything's going good. Okay, so I know that the team has had a lot of announcements in the past few months. Um, of course, you know, Cup Series, you know, um, Truck Star, you're going to be running some ARCA races. Where are we at? And, um, and of course, you guys are also in Brazil doing some, doing some stuff. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. How, what, what's it been like uh, so far in these last few months trying to getting all this stuff out there? Uh, Staying racing has been very busy with all the ventures they got going with the ARCA stuff and NASCAR stuff. We're, uh, we're in the middle of getting these cars built for Torso, and uh, it, that's pretty exciting. Uh, the venture we're going on down south, we're going to build these cars in Charlotte and bring them up north. Uh, uh, we've been busy, busy doing everything, and every day something changes. So uh, it's all good. We're expiring the stuff to get it done. Uh, we're doing good in Brazil. Won that race last a uh, couple of weeks ago, so that's good. So uh, a lot of good things are happening in staying racing. Yeah. Okay. So where are we at in terms of trying to get you know with the Cup start in, in Tarso and and really just how is that Cup program going with all the uh, with all the nuances of trying to get the and trying to get the next gen cars and all that stuff. It's it was a slow start, but we got we're, we turned on the gas now. We're uh, just going to be a bit, good announcements next week with crew chiefs and the crew members, and uh, you know uh, a couple of weeks from now I'd like to be on your show to emphasize what we've done. Uh, but uh, it's it was a slow start, but we're starting to pick stuff up, get the parts for the cars, and uh, we're under a, a quick time frame, but we're gonna get it done. Um, I, I know that I know that John has said in the past that um, I, I know that maybe he wasn't looking toward the ARCA series when I last talked to him a few weeks weeks ago. But really, where now with the ARCA announcement out there, what's I know this team has been in the ARCA and ARCA series, but what kind of kind of said that maybe we want to actually pursue this? Well, we got a good drive, a little driver from Italy that's pretty good shoe. We want to get him out there and get some laps on that Mato and uh. Uh, we're gonna, I think we're gonna start him off at the uh, Ohio road course there yeah. and, uh, and get him some laps and get him uh, uh, used to the big cars. And uh, but he's because he's a pretty good talent, I haven't met the young man yet, so we're excited about that. So that's gonna happen, uh, I think in June it is or uh, that, yeah. that first race, but uh, yeah, uh, everything is just so so fast paced now going with the stuff with the, the sponsors and everything, and it just uh, it's it's a, it's a good thing. Um, David, how many races um, is Mateo going to run for ARCA? Uh, we're thinking about six to eight. Okay. Six to um, eight races. We'll start then, yeah. Okay, so similar to what Tarso is running for the Cup Series, about eight yep. about eight races. And, of course, also the truck race at uh, Sonoma as well. Yep, yeah, we're getting geared up for that too, yeah, yeah. Okay, so trying to, you know, it's going to be tough to try to get in the truck field because, you know, your brand new team trying to – you know, get in there. Of course, there's only 36 trucks and, and that can race in that. And of course, you also have the support from Ford as well. Um, wh why Tarso put him in the car? Because he hasn't been in the car in a, in a long time. Because I know he's doing some stuff with you guys with Brazil, but he's never been in a NASCAR car. Well, uh, him and John are buds. They've been uh, known each other for a long time. The guy's very talented. And, uh, you know, it's something that he's always thought about he wanted to do. So all the cars just fell in place where He's our driver, John hooked up, the sponsors, Dignity, everybody that's uh, a part of this deal just agrees on him being the guy. So we're going to give him a shot. And, uh, we're excited about having him over here and uh, doing some racing for us. Explain what Dignity Gold is. I know it's a cryptocurrency, but what what is it? That's that's John's deal. I don't know much about it. I mean, you have to talk to him about that stuff like that. He just tells me what to do here. All right. Uh, sounds good there. Um, so going into what nuances of this, where do you see where do you see this team going um, in in the future? Like, are we looking at two cars? Are we looking at more? Are we going to see you in the Xfinity series, the Truck series? Are we going to see a second ARCA car? Well, with this car making this new car, this new gen car, it gives an opportunity like our teams to maybe be a part of it and be a competitive. You know, with all the trick stuff NASCAR used to have, now everybody's on a pretty level playing field, so they're in the right direction. For little teams like us to get motivated, get going. So uh, I'm looking for good things out of us. Uh, we're gonna take it one race at a time. We we'll have a couple cars in case something goes wrong with one. But uh, uh, we're gonna get off the ground here, and we hope for big things. You know, everybody dreams about having some good, big, big things going. But uh, one race at a time. We'll see what happens. Has the crew chief been decided yet? 
we're still uh, still up in air there. We got a couple guys we're choosing from. Uh, in a couple of weeks when I'm back with you, I'll be able to give you a lot more details and all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff still up in the air. Yep. Uh, and I, of course, I know that you're based in Chicago. Um, right. The, you know, instead of North Carolina, I know that. I know that uh, you can operate a team anywhere. I mean, Thor Sport operates out in out in uh, Sandusky, Ohio. Of course, Furniture Row operated out of Denver, Colorado for so many years. Right. Um, what makes what makes Chicago the probably the base of the operation for you guys? Well, John Stang and, and all the people up here are always been from Chicago, and it's you know it's uh, Chicago offers a lot for the the different the areas for racing for the traveling, you know, Road America and stuff like that. We're going to keep a base down in Charlotte with a little shop. We're going to build these cars there and then bring them up there. So we'll be have a little base down there and one in Chicago. Yeah, um, has. And also looking at with the operation, what would take me into what, how this kind of started of getting into the cup series. I know that, I know John's talked about this, but what kind of made you intrigued to, to join? Because of course you're a racer yourself. Of course you've ran Arcus for so many years as well. Talk about like how you became a part of this and what kind of made John want to go to the cup series. Well, we, uh, me and John got hooked up uh, four or five years ago. Uh, we bought some racing stuff to run some market stuff, and uh, we ran some different drivers. I was retired then from driving, and I work on the cars, and I know all the people in the ARCA family I was with, and uh, it just made it easy for me and him. We're a good contact. We paired together and took a lot of cars to the races, and I had some success. So, uh, you know, I learned about John. He learned about me. We got to be buddies a little bit here and now. we got a business venture. So, uh, I mean, that's where we're at. Um, in terms of crew, in terms of people working on the car pit crew, are you still working on all that too? Absolutely, yeah, we still are. You know, we have a, a, a good choice of, of candidates. Uh, the parts are going to come in all together with the car. Everything's going to fall together in a couple of weeks. We're just hoping uh, for convenience. We're building the cars in Charlotte because all the convenience of the parts and the people that are down there. And then we'll probably move the, the cars up to uh, Chicago by July or something by the Road America. And also, um, have you? I know John also talked about a few weeks ago an alliance with one of the with one of the Ford teams. Can you can you talk about that yet? Uh, no, I can't say nothing about that yet. You know, we're still working on it. It's going to happen, but I just don't want to say nothing until it's a done deal. Absolutely. Of course, we'll have you back on in a few weeks to talk about that. Um, and, and really, just kind of going into um, talking about the operation down in Brazil. I know that you guys are coming off with a win. Uh, how do you think that program is going so far? Oh, it can't be much better. The success we have, you know, those cars are a little bit like the Gen car, uh, not as much horsepower and stuff, but uh, they're feeding off each other. And uh, uh, a team staying has got so much going everywhere. I don't know, John's got his hands full. I'm trying to take care of stuff on this side of the water. So, uh, but they're doing great over there. We're excited about that. And we're just excited for all the stuff that's happening. And uh, I know that in a couple of weeks, I'll be able to answer a lot more of these questions that you gave me because I, just can't do it right now. And, and talk about the international program for a second. Is, is this something that, you know, you want to do and find, find talent to drive? Of course you found Mateo from, you know, him racing in, in the formula series in the past, but is this, is this a program that you guys want to continue in the future? Oh yeah. We want to develop a program, you know, bring the guys to our or through up the cup, wherever it takes. I mean, there's a lot of talented drivers out there that need the opportunity and uh, John's trying to do that. Give him a shot. All right. Well, um, David, thank you so much. We're going to have, we'll have you on back in a few weeks and uh, when more of these announcements come out. I promise I'll have more answers for you. It'll be a lot better, but thank you very much for having me. All right. Thank you, David.